the challenges to talking about sex on YouTube would be talking. <laughs> Sometimes I'm not very good at talking. Um, but the things that we are not sure how to say yet or not sure if we're going to be permitted to say is a f this fine task of juggling. I think that there are topics which will get us flagged. Um, I don't. I don't know what they are. This is not articulate. I will do this again. But there, I don't know what they are because the YouTube server doesn't give that information back to us. We just know that we've been flagged and we can petition for that to change. But it's uncertain whether or not we will overcome the barrier. Um, and I've talked to other YouTube sex educators about it, and they haven't found the formula either. We don't know where those topics are. So then writing off of that question, what would you say is something that YouTube could do to help you as an educator? Oh, yeah. YouTube can let me know what I can and can't do. Because then the walls aren't glass. I'm not walking into them and shattering and making a bunch of videos that aren't accessible to everyone. Instead, I know where those zones are. I can respect that. It's their company. And then I just build my product around that so that it still gets out with respect to the venue. So I'm sorry, YouTube, if I have this wrong, but my understanding is that the viewers are the ones who start flagging things. YouTube is not going through even with their algorithms to determine whether or not something is age appropriate. And so I guess my thinking there is that is the system that I want to maintain. I want the viewers to tell me how, not just what the content is texturally, but what it is structurally. How does it make them feel? If it makes them feel like it's age inappropriate, even though the, the material is bland, then let's block it. But I would love it if when they submitted those flags, if they could say why they did that so that I could monitor myself in the future. And do I think that education channels and more vlog style first person channels have different standards? Yeah, yeah, of course, because they're different. But I, I would love it if the communities could create those standards, including the creators.